Hey guys, in this video, I will show you how to use the uh, uh, real-time API WebRTC with uh, .NET. I will create a Windows demo for this one. I already created a whole bunch of the demo, like use the uh, iOS, Swift, uh, Python, uh, JavaScript, Java, React Native. I created this because uh, uh, I found the WebRTC is much smoother than the WebSocket. So I hope uh, ev uh, anyone uh, trying to use the real-time API uh, switch to the WebRTC, which is much uh, better than the WebSocket. So that is why I created a whole bunch of this uh, video. Okay, let's uh, switch to the code. So let's uh, let me run. Uh, let's see what the uh, result looks like. Hey, what's the population of United States? Okay, stop. Could you count from 1 to 10? Okay, thank you. Bye. Okay, you will see it's much smoother than the uh, WebSocket. In the WebSocket, you will see that you will hear there a little bit pause between each each pack. So, but this one you don't see any uh, any pause or something, any uh, noise over there. So, which is much uh, better than the WebSocket. Okay. Let's back to the uh, source code. I will upload this code to the GitHub so you guys could download from over there uh, and give some, give me some comments if you uh, have some uh, idea or there are some problem. Just let me know. Okay, uh, I I already created this one, so I don't uh, want to like start pro programming from very beginning. So because the uh, uh, .NET not support not uh, natively support the WebRTC, so I have to use uh, this library. Uh, it's a little bit difficult to uh, understand, but uh, I will explain that to you. We uh, uh, since the uh, um, .NET not support um, natively support that, so we have to we still have to use this guy, uh, this object, and this object for the um, microphone and the, and the speaker. So when we, uh, first thing we just, uh, let's go from here. Come on, let's go from here. So we just uh, call this method. If we go to here, uh, the this is the uh, mm, constructor constructor of the uh, of this class. So it's just initialize this two object and hook up the event. If we got some uh, message, we just send the message to the uh, WebRTC channel. This is how this one get working. The same as WebOut, which is a speaker. Once you got enough uh, buff, uh, enough stuff, enough buffer, uh, we will uh, play the audio. That is pretty easy. So, uh, how okay, here. This one, this one is just to start the uh, audio, uh, start the uh, microphone, okay, wave in. So here is the most important one. We have a uh, asynchronous method. This method, we, we will uh, do the uh, WebRTC stuff. So the mo uh, we set up the um, peer connection, we set up the uh, configuration, we set up the uh, stun server, we use the ice server, we use the public Google one, so um, now we initialize the, uh, we initialize the, this, uh, uh, I call this uh, uh, P2P connection, so this come from the uh, library, from the uh, Microsoft library, so you don't need the uh, Worry about that. It has something to do over there. So next one, I think for us need to understand is we need to set up the uh, local STP and the remote STP. So here just to set up the audio track, set up the data channel, 
we set up the data channel uh, event once we uh, receive any message we just uh, uh, just uh, trying to uh, print this uh, message uh, okay let's change uh, data change status I just want to take a look at one set a breakpoint and like one let's get uh, uh, changed so they don't have too much we need to care about uh, so let's say where we set the uh, SDP so first of all we need to uh, go to the uh, we need to set the SDP SDP uh, come from okay here is the SDP okay let, let's get the local SDP uh, we use this one let's see let's find the a. okay here we go this guy this guy mm, let's uh, okay let's back to the let, let's get the secure se uh, secure key first let's go over here that's kind of like set the uh, local uh, SDP. So this is a modified SDP. Basically, is your local uh, SDP. So this one set the local SDP. Uh, here we use the local SDP to uh, request uh, the remote SDP. So here we set the remote SDP. The same as the Python and the uh, React uh, native. All of uh, all of this uh, demo just uh, request uh, the OpenAI to get a session ID, which is uh, we call it the security, uh, which is a secret uh, uh, secret key. So we request uh, uh, this one. We get we use the uh, token. We use the um, uh, API key to request uh, the SDP. Once we got the SDP. Okay, I'm sorry. We we did not use the uh, API key. We use the sec secret key. The secret key was generated from over here from this one. So this is the uh, token response. This one we request the token. So yeah, we use the API key to request the uh, token. After we got the token, we use this token to re request the uh, SDP, remote SDP. We, after we got the S, uh, remote SDP, we set up the remote SDP. Then the connection, uh, connection gets uh, set up. So now you could uh, uh, start uh, uh, program. You could uh, start uh, uh, talk. Yeah, that is how the most important part get working. Uh, I still have something need to uh, uh, deal with the northern the hardware like the uh, microphone and the uh, and the uh, audio and the speaker. So you may need to take a look how this get uh, uh, talk with the um, hardware. Yeah, I think that pretty much or for uh, for this one this we get the uh, session we use the I already talked about this one we use we got the remote SDP yeah I think that pretty much or you guys could uh, uh, take a look I will put this uh, uh, source code to the uh, github so let me know if you have any uh, question. This is difficult, uh, is more difficult than the Java or the, um, the, the Python one because this one, even the iOS one, because this one is not natively support the uh, WebRTC for the Windows. So you still need to uh, talk with your uh, hardware or something. But the result is very nice. It's much smoother than the uh, WebSocket. Okay, thank you. Hope you guys enjoy. Thank you. Bye.